What's going on guys, my name is Connor, and today I review for you guys on the Louis Vuitton coin card holder wallet in the Monogram Eclipse Tega Black colorway. I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this wallet as well as whether everything it's good purchased or not. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and give a video to show more people. And while you're at it, make sure you claim your four free stocks on Weeble by clicking below. All you gotta do is sign up, you get two stars for free, and another two after your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so just a few details I want to go over just before I take you out of the box. First off being the retail cost of this wallet. It's actually going to retail at $360 USD. Uh, you guys are welcome to go ahead and look in the site right now, but it's completely sold out. So you guys are either going to have to try your luck by going into the store or buying secondhand from StockX or a site like Grails. So if you guys are looking to buy a wallet like this, you guys are always welcome to reach out to me on Instagram at car.langley. I'm always buying, I'm always selling, so just reach out to me there. And then as far as market, this wallet is actually going for about the retail cost is going for about $398 USD. Um, and that is the average sale on StockX and that's what I'm basing it off of. So if you guys want to go into that site, you guys are going to pay a little bit more just because of the buyer's fees. And if you guys are selling on there, you guys are obviously going to pay, have to pay the seller's fees. So the reason why I don't always buy on StockX is one, because sometimes fakes will go through it. And also because sellers and buyer's fees do tend to add up. And so we'll just open up the box for you guys and we'll have the receipt right here. So in one of my last videos, someone asked me to keep showing the receipts in all my videos. Sometimes I don't because I don't think a lot of you guys care to see it, but I will in this one just for um, just for that subscriber. Um, but you guys can see it'll just say Louis Vuitton on here as well as the box. Nothing too special about the box and something that I always mention is that the Louis Vuitton logo should be a very dark navy. It should not be a black or a light blue. It should be a very dark navy as well as on this and the dust bag. So you guys can see the receipt in here. I'll just pop open the envelope. And this person was not located inside the US. I'm not exactly sure where this location is. You guys can let me know down in the comments if you guys can tell. Um, but. The retail cost is $360 USD, but in whatever currency this is, it came out to $1750. So I'm not completely sure, but here's the Louis Vuitton receipt. So you guys can verify that it's authentic and I'll also show you guys more proof and give you guys more suggestions on how to authenticate as I go through this video. But just setting the receipt to the side really quickly, you guys will be able to see the dust bag right here. I'll just take it out and obviously the wallet will be inside. Nothing too special about it. It's just going to be the sand colorway. As you guys can see, there's a few items over here that I'm going to review after this video, but you guys can just see it. Nothing too special on the back either, but just taking out the wallet, you guys will be able to see the beautiful monogram eclipse Tega black coin card holder by Louis Vuitton and Virgil Abloh right here. And it is completely brand new. I know there's a tiny little crease right here and that is just because of the shape of the wallet, but here's a good look at it before I go into more detail. Obviously we got the zip right here, the pockets, and I will obviously go over these details in depth. But first off, the first thing I wanna go over for this wallet is the dimensions. It's gonna be about three inches right here. It's gonna be about five and a half inches here. Then as far as width, it's gonna be about half an inch depending on how full it gets. It's kind of hard to say. Right now I'd say it's a little bit less than half an inch, but as you stretch it out, it can actually get to that point of being an inch if you really got a lot of bills, a lot of cards, and maybe even receipts or whatever else you might store in it. And the material it used is gonna be the Tega cowhide leather. Um, all around you guys can see as well as the monogram eclipse coated canvas. So the Tega material is right here and all the black you guys see. You guys can see some right here. And then obviously the canvas, like I just mentioned, is considered the Monogram Eclipse Tega Black coated canvas. And then the trim and the lining is gonna be made of cowhide leather. As you guys can see, hopefully I can get that shown in the light right there. It should be very high quality. And although you guys are gonna to wanna to look at the heat stamp as well as the date code, the first thing I like to look at is always where the monogram is located and also look at the lining and make sure it's even and looks to be uh, up to par because obviously all Louis Vuitton products are gonna be very high quality and all the stitching should be completely even as you guys can see right now. And then the hardware right here on the zipper is going to be completely silver toned. If you guys look closely, it'll have the LV right there. It's just going to be a single zipper, which is all you really need for this wallet. Obviously, it's going to go down to the side. And once I unzip it, which I'm doing right now with my one hand, you guys will be able to see that you guys got a lot of space in here. And what's in here is actually the card that's going to go over the materials. Although I already told you guys them, if you guys want to see them from the card that Louis Vuitton gives out, you guys can see this side will not be in English 
with this side will. Coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, as well as interior lining. As you guys can see on the card, and that comes with pretty much all Louis Vuitton products. And then looking at the side where you're gonna be able to hold your cards, your debit cards and credit cards, they're gonna be a total of four credit card slots. So obviously we've got one right here, one right here, one right here, and obviously we've got a big one right here. So as far as these pockets, you guys are gonna be able to hold about two to three cards. I recommend holding one to two just so if you guys end up holding one in one of the slots that it isn't completely stretched out and they won't fall out if you turn it this way. Um, and the one that you're gonna be able to fit the most in is obviously this big pocket right here. You guys can tell there is a little bit more space in here than there are in these pockets. And then turning this part around, you guys will see that there is the one big compartment that is made for bills and receipts. So obviously we got bills and receipts in here. We got all of our coins in here. And then we got all of our credit card and debit card slots right here. And then for those of you guys who want to be able to authenticate this wallet, the first thing you're going to want to look at is the heat stamp right here. I'll show you guys. Hopefully you guys can see that in the light. Actually, it's going to be on the other side. My apologies. But you guys can hopefully see in there Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. And that is considered the heat stamp. And the date code is going to be found in this big compartment right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It'll be right along the edge right there. So you guys are more than welcome to look up the date code, make sure it actually exists, look at the heat stamp, make sure the font is right. And also when you guys are looking at the date code, you guys can make sure that the reference is made in France, Spain, Italy, or the US, because those are the only locations that they made this wallet by. Um, so if it says Canada, if it says China, Germany, whatever else you guys know then and there that is fake. And also something that I always like to use is Pro Authenticators. They are a professional authentication service. They pay me absolutely nothing to promote them. I actually asked them to and they wouldn't, which is kind of sad. Maybe if my channel gets a little bit bigger, they will. And that is primarily what I use for any Louis Vuitton item if I'm not sure if it's authentic or not. Um, they do a really good job of checking out the heat stamp, the date code, verifying it, as well as the fonts, and also looking at the lining, the uh, coated canvas, and everything else that needs to be checked out, including the receipt, box, dust bag. They're extremely accurate, and when you guys ask me, oh, how can I authenticate my stuff? They are honestly the easiest way to go. And some of you guys actually reached out to me because I wasn't clear on my last time I mentioned them, where you guys can find pro authenticators. They are on Facebook, and so you're just gonna message them uh, through Messenger or Facebook, and you guys will get your response there. But final verdict, I think this is a great wallet for anyone who holds not too many cards and not too much cash at all because obviously you only have this compartment right here but also for someone that holds a lot of coins or anything like that I don't really hold too many bills I do hold receipts or coins but just because of the functionality of the card holder and it's just a sleek design and eclipse canvas which is honestly one of my favorite makes it a good choice for me and was a good reason to go ahead and pick it up so if you guys do have any questions if you guys have any uh, purchase questions, authentication questions, or anything about this wallet as far as its usage, make sure to leave it down in the comments so I can answer it for everyone. And also let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. Um, to be quite honest with you guys, out of all the newer wallets that have been put out by Louis Vuitton, this is probably my favorite. I reviewed the pocket organizer, I reviewed the multiple wallet, and I have also re obviously reviewed this one uh, right now as I'm speaking. And honestly, this is my favorite just for how it fits in your pocket. It holds everything that someone like me holds. And so as long as you're not holding too much cash, not too many coins, and just a few cards, this might be the wallet for you. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to see on my channel and obviously leave any other questions down in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.